What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Tech Fiends YouTube channel. I'm back with another video of the Galaxy S3, and uh, probably the last time you guys will see my Galaxy Note because currently it is on uh, eBay. Uh, I'll post a link to uh, the eBay uh, sale uh, in case any of you guys are interested in purchasing it. You can uh, buy it. I mean, if not, so be it. But it's uh, in really good condition. Uh, it's practically in uh, mint condition. And uh, yeah, it's a really good phone. If anybody's out there that is interested in it. But all right, right now I'm going to go over a couple of the things that I've noticed about the S3 since I've had it, which uh, it's uh, actually, I, I can't say it's a bad phone. It's probably the best uh, smartphone I have ever owned. I mean, it is really, really, really a good phone. So, I mean, there's not too much bad stuff I can say about it. But there is a few things, you know, nothing's perfect. So basically, I want to start off by saying one of the things that I did not like is that Samsung removed uh, the news widget this uh little widget right here i uh i was kind of fond of having the ap news and the widget they switched it out for is not uh is this little widget right here basically they switched the ap out for uh yahoo news and i mean i don't know if Yahoo is associated with AP, but there are uh, different reports in here, like uh, Reuters. Uh, it's also got a uh, BGR, uh, AFP. Uh, so there you can go see Reuters, and then there's Associated Press right there. Uh, I just prefer the overall look of this. Well, I'm sorry, not this widget. Uh, this widget. I prefer the overall look of this one right there instead of this one but that's just me and I assume that they switched it out for a uh, flipboard the flipboard uh, compatibility I mean the flipboard app looks uh, as graphically uh, pleasing to the eyes as this one does so I guess it's a it's a fairly even switch uh, the flipboard you know is basically you just flip through the pages whereas when you open this one you have to slide left and right to see the other categories in the news application also there is uh, in the alarm clock the widget is well the application is integrated so when the uh, alarm goes off it will tell all the current news headlines there's an app in the market called RSS alarm I think it is which I use to do the same thing on the note but it you know basically it was an outside application here it's baked into the phone from default and I thought that was pretty cool uh, it also tells you the weather and it'll also tell you of any uh, pending events that you may have scheduled so that's pretty cool uh, another thing that I wasn't too fond of with the uh, s3 is they removed all of the video editing software like uh, on this phone I was able to basically use a Photoshop type or uh, not Photoshop a uh, shop uh, Windows Movie Maker type editing uh, storyboard to put together videos and I thought that was a cool addition and I know there are applications that you can go out and purchase or uh, download to do the same thing but I just thought it was pretty cool that it was baked in on this phone and it's not on this phone the same thing goes for the uh, photo editor there is no uh, photo editor on 
this phone uh, and there's not one available in the Samsung apps you know I figured all of uh, the applications that Samsung had on uh, uh, the older phones would be available inside uh, the more services area of the Samsung applications but they're not so that's another drawback I found uh, there's also uh, the removal of well I was just there they removed keys air so keys air is not available on the uh, oh that's keys cast but keys air did not come installed by default on the Galaxy S3 uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with keys air it was the application that lets you connect your phone via Wi-Fi uh, to your computer and that way you could transfer files uh, look at pictures listen to music uh, customize uh, ringtone send text messages it's it's real it's real useful uh, if you got a Samsung phone and you don't have it I recommend you go to the market and try and download it uh, you can download keys air from the market but then again like I said it was just one of those things that I've gotten used to uh, using on Samsung phones uh, another thing that I really really was very disappointed with is that the uh, the way that you connect the Galaxy S3 to your computer through USB is totally changed like in the past like if I connect this phone to uh, my computer it'll give me the ability to connect it as a mass storage device and when when that's done it basically mounts uh, the phone to your computer like an ordinary uh, USB thumb drive or a jump drive or, with, or memory stick whatever you call it but this particular phone when you mount it it mounts it as either a portable media device or it mounts it as a camera and the result is transferring files is a pain in the butt you know it's it's just it can get real slow it's not really uh it basically is just they they nerfed it or uh, downgraded the way you transfer files so basically it would be easier to use an application like AirDroid in order to transfer files because it'll go much faster over Wi-Fi than it will connecting your phone directly to USB so I really think that was a a, a big gimp on Samsung's part uh, they shouldn't have taken a, away the ability to mount your phone as a mass storage device that's probably the overall biggest complaint that I got about this phone outside of that uh, uh, those shortcomings aside I still say it's a really really great device to have you know anybody expecting uh, or looking forward to getting this device in the US uh, especially with the two gigabytes of RAM has a lot of stuff to uh, look forward to there uh, I mean it's 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 just an amazing device uh, not saying that this one is not this one also is an amazing device I've really gotten used to uh, the smaller size I mean I like the more this one's more uh, friendly to being in your hand compared to this one as you can see I've got pretty big hands and there's like no chance of my uh, thumb getting up to this corner without having to alter the way I hold the phone at the uh, back like I can't have my fingers gripping the phone on this side and reach that corner same is true with this one but it's a little easier to manipulate moving the phone up and down to to reach those four corners of the screen whereas this one I pretty much have to throw the phone all the way off balance and risk dropping it in order to uh, reach those corners and I have like I said I have uh, pretty big hands and uh, yeah it's it's a little more difficult what I will say though is uh, gaming 
on this phone is a bit better than gaming on this phone due to the massive uh, reduction in stream real estate you know you uh, I know uh, going from 4.8 to 5.3 doesn't sound like it's a big adjustment in screen size but when you see how much how much uh, the screen on the note dwarfs the screen on the s3 you can absolutely tell that uh, that it's a it's a big uh, reduction my uh i think the perfect size phone in my opinion would be pretty much a straight 5.0 inch phone because i've seen like the galaxy player 5.0 and i thought that would have been a really good screen size for a phone versus the 5.3 or the 4.8 4.8 is good though there's not much problem with the uh 4.8 i think it makes a better uh, phone friendly uh, pocket friendly device uh, this was also a welcome addition there's a uh, flashlight baked into the OS so you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about going out and downloading a special uh, a special uh, application for the phone okay and, now I'm gonna give you guys a uh, look at the camera uh, first off the way I get into the camera uh, is I hit the power button and then put my thumb on the screen, turn to the right, and then boom, straighten the camera. I'll do that again for you. Uh, the way I get in is click the power button, finger on the screen, then boom, straighten the camera. And uh, I know there's a burst mode for the phone, but usually, uh, the trigger on the camera uh, fires a picture or snaps a picture every time uh, you hit the button so uh, instead of going into burst mode if something's happening pretty quick and you can't get to the option for burst, burst mode you can just just snap your finger okay uh, and yeah, after this, I will uh, add a video on the tail end showing uh, the performance of the video camera. Okay, this is a video test for the Galaxy S3. Uh, 